Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Eric Trump just made disturbing claim about threats to the first family. Thursday night, Eric Trump sat down with Fox News host Sean Hannity in order to address the hypocrisy of the media when it comes to what they perceive as dangerous rhetoric against themselves as they ignore the fact that their own anti-Trump rhetoric is putting the whole Trump clan in danger. All this came about when the called reporter Jim Acosta formed the controversial news network, CNN, was heckled at a Trump rally earlier this week. The media didn't seem to hesitate to draw this incident out and use it to attack President Trump once again, who is only drawing attention to how the media seems dishonest when a Republican president is in office. The information in the interview revealed by Eric led to Hannity asking if his family had been threatened. His reply, explaining a specific recent and horrific attack LFT viewers stunned. It didn't get much media attention, if at all, when it should have been major headlines news. Eric confirmed to Hannity that not just his family, but many of the Trumps had received white power at their homes. Here is more via The Daily Wire. In a discussion with Fox News host Sean Hannity Thursday, Eric Trump addressed the hypocrisy of the media when it comes to dangerous rhetoric. Amid reckless, over-the-top rhetoric for many in the media, he said, his whole family has had white powder show up at our house. The hypocrisy is unlike anything you can imagine, said Trump. You have them attacking Barron, you have them attacking Tiffany, you have them attacking our entire family. You have them spewing garbage every single day on CNN and all these other networks about my father. Covering nonsense while forgetting about the fact that our economy grew at 4.1 percent, that we have the lowest unemployment in history, that jobs are coming back to the country, that the stock market's at a record high. So they spew nonsense all day, then little Jim Acosta gets belittled at a rally and all of a sudden I'm holier than, thou. Without details, has your family been threatened? Asked Hannity. I've been threatened. Our family's been threatened, all of us. We've all had white powder show up at our house, he said. There's no moral outrage about that. Trump then cited Daily Wire editor-in-chief Ben Shapiro's famous appearance at Berkeley which required scores of security personnel and security measures costing hundreds of thousands of dollars just to ensure participants' safety from left-wing protesters. When Ben Shapiro goes to Berkeley to try to give a speech, and there's protests in the street, Trump added, there's no moral outrage about that. Let the man have freedom of speech, let the man go out there and speak to people who want to listen to him. But when it happens to them, when they're offended by a message, all of a sudden, The Hill notes that Trump's statement that all of the family has experienced anthrax threats means that there's been more threats than a previously reported incident in February in which Donald Trump Jr.'s then-wife Vanessa Trump opened an envelope containing white powder, for which she was taken to the hospital as a precaution. Eric Trump continued by saying the hypocrisy is unlike anything you can imagine, you have them attacking Barron, you have them attacking Tiffany, you have them attacking our entire family. You have them spewing garbage every single day on CNN and all these other networks about my father. Covering nonsense while forgetting about the fact that our economy grew at 4.1 percent, that we have the lowest unemployment in history, that jobs are coming back to the country, that the stock market's at record high. So they spew nonsense all day, then little Jim Acosta gets belittled at a rally and all of a sudden I'm holier than, thou. The Hill explains more of what the Trumps have endured, much of which seems to have been somewhat ignored by the mainstream media who didn't give it the attention these things deserved. President Trump's daughter-in-law was taken to the hospital as a precaution on Monday after she opened a letter containing an unidentified substance, the New York City Police Department said. The letter was addressed to Vanessa Trump's husband, Donald Trump Jr. He is the eldest son of the president and his first wife, Ivana. An initial review indicated the substance was not hazardous police said. The Secret Service confirmed in a statement that it is working with law enforcement partners to investigate a suspicious package sent to one of its protectees. NBC News first reported the incident. Three residents in total were taken to the hospital after the letter was opened, according to NBC. Trump Jr. is leading the Trump Organization with his younger brother, Eric. He has been a central figure in the investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election after he met with a Russian lawyer who promised damaging information on Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. This needs to stop. For all intent and purposes, the media has been perceived by many Trump supporters an extension of the Democrat Party and in their opinion, are allegedly trying to help them get rid of President Trump by any means. This poor family has had enough, yet there seems to be no end in sight to the attacks. The Trumps have done nothing to deserve this mistreatment other than given the whole nation a GDP of 4.1% which hasn't been seen in decades. This time, 
It's not only the tech people who have work, it's average people in middle America and from coast to coast who Trump made campaign promises of employment and prosperity and is keeping his word. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.